welcome to week two of the diabetes reversal video series simply follow the plan hello dr Joe here of the askdrjoe.org and the 2020 forum.com so here is the thing folks the landscape for the management of type 2 diabetes and of course pre-diabetes is shifting and it's shifting very fast um, for you guys who are doing ketogenic diet you really need to pay attention to uh, what I'm going to be saying in this very video. This is week two and probably this is going to be my most important video that I will ever do. And I mean this because um, if you take the steps and perform the tasks that uh, I'm going to be talking about in this very week, in this very video, then of course uh, you will be on the right track to managing your type 2 diabetes uh, today and forever because it's becoming clear that using ketogenic diets to manage type 2 diabetes is not sustainable in the long term it does carry some risks and uh, that is why um, you know the landscape is really shifting even some of the keto gurus <laughs> they are changing their minds already one of them wrote a book uh, to use fat as fuel and uh, he's saying well you know he's changed his views so um you know if you are not doing keto you're on the right track because you don't have any biases and of course if you're doing keto then uh you want to pay attention and uh, you may want to be shifting what you're doing and get on track with uh the way forward and it's all about how you need to make yourself glucose tolerant or i should say carbohydrate tolerance because the reason we are diabetic okay is because we are carbohydrate intolerant and if you perform the tasks that i'm going to be talking about in this very video and uh, you put the theory into practice then of course you are going to make yourself carbohydrate tolerant and that is what you want in which case you won't be needing any metformin or any other you know glucose managing or glucose regulating medications going forward so i am pleading with you to please watch the entire video and more importantly to put what you're going to learn in this very video into practice uh, because if you do that you're going to see a huge change in your carbohydrate tolerance so let's get started okay folks uh big surprise for you here um what i'm about to reveal to you is that the original cause of your diabetes has changed now it is not necessarily carbs per se we've known this for a very long time for nearly a century since 1927 that carbs are not the initiator of diabetes uh, they might contribute at a later stage but they are not the initiator so your next question is going to be if it is not carbs then what is the cause of our diabetes uh, it is hyperlipidemia okay hyperlipidemia is the cause of your diabetes hyper means high lipids mean fat emia is in the blood so high blood fat levels is the reason you become diabetic but of course the fat doesn't stay in the blood all the way it has to get into the tissues so in the end the cause of your diabetes is when you have too much fat in the tissues and the blood of course that is how you become diabetic so here's how it works if you flood the cell with fat then of course the cell will stop oxidizing glucose it will instead be oxidizing fat so it's very simple if you want to really reverse your type 2 diabetes in this week too our task is to stop flooding our body tissues with fat or at the very least reduce our consumption of a dietary fat okay because when we do that our cells we start oxidizing glucose all over again and that is what we want because if our cells start oxidizing glucose all over again then we lower our blood sugar levels because the sugar will get away from the blood circulation into the cells into the tissues and that is how we lower our blood sugar levels so the task is very simple our objective is to empty the fat out of our muscle and liver cells 
to make way for the glucose to get inside the cells. Okay, do remember that our muscle and liver cells, they are vital in our carbohydrate metabolism. That's why we want them to be empty of fat to make way for the glucose to get inside of uh, those cells. So we won't stop all fat consumption, but what we want to do, however, is to reduce our fat consumption. That's what we're going to be doing in week two and going forward. So you got to remember, by the way, that the fat that you eat today also impairs the glucose in the same meal from getting inside the cell. So if today you have a meal that is mixed with carbohydrates and fats together, the fat in that meal will stop the glucose that is absorbed from that very meal from getting inside the cells. So what then happens is the glucose will remain in the blood circulation and then you have high blood sugar levels. And then we blame the carbohydrate for causing our blood sugar to be high. No, it's because we ate fat with a meal. That's the reason our blood sugar level is high. If we didn't eat any fat with the meal, then of course our liver cells and our muscle cells will soak up the uh, glucose from the blood circulation and then that will lower our blood sugar levels. That is the principle. Now, another thing you have to remember, by the way, is that your liver cells and uh, your muscle cells, they are the biggest reservoir. They are the biggest warehouse for absorbing glucose from the blood circulation into their cells. So if we empty the liver and muscle cells, then we are onto a winning streak. It's as simple as that. So your next question is going to be, how much fat then? What we want to do is reduce the total fat in our diet to 50% or less of our total daily calorie intake. And in weight terms, that means consuming no more than 30 grams of fat daily in our diet. Okay. So the principle here is for us to reduce our fat consumption, our daily fat consumption to less than 30 grams of fat daily. Okay. It's as simple as that. If we do that, we will reverse our type 2 diabetes. This is one of the best things you can do to reverse your type 2 diabetes. Reduce your fat intake to less than 30 grams of fat a day. So, next question. What kinds of foods have plenty of fat that we have to be looking out for? Well, here we go. The creams. They are a classic example, you know. The sour creams, the heavy creams, the double creams, the single creams. All of these creams. They are full of saturated fat and they will get in the way of our carbohydrate metabolism and they'll keep our blood sugar levels high. We want to get rid of them or reduce our consumption of them. Butter, ghee, tallow, lard, they are a no-go area. We don't want them in our diet uh, or at the very least, if we're going to have them, have very little because they will get in the way of our carbohydrate metabolism. Mayonnaise is another food to watch out for gravy okay now this is a hidden one gravy is actually animal fat that is mixed with wheat flour or cornstarch that's what gravy is so we want to reduce our consumption of gravy or get rid of it altogether coconut oil and palm oil they are a no-no in our diet if we want to reverse our type 2 diabetes they gotta go they have to go dairy milk is another full of saturated fat uh it's gotta go now, here's one that is not widely known. The vegetable oils and the seed oils, okay? They get in the way of our carbohydrate metabolism. They keep our blood sugar levels high. So the canola oil, the sunflower oil, the peanut oil, the cottonseed oil, the olive oil, etc., etc., they get in the way of our carbohydrate metabolism. We need to get rid of them out of our diet or at the very least, reduce their consumption. Beef, chicken, lamb, pork, all of these meats, they are full of saturated fat. If you've done any barbecue at all, you'll know. Your grill will tell you how fatty uh, these meats are. So we need to either get rid of them or reduce their consumption to the very, very minimum. The cheeses, also full of saturated fat, they got to go. Okay, they got to go. If you want to reverse a type 2 diabetes, they got to go. So what to do now to reverse your uh, type 2 diabetes? Well, you want to adjust your recipes to either remove the oils or at the very least reduce the oil amount in those recipes. So here are some tips. Use air fryers to tone down your oil use. 
air fryers are a nice handy tool that will help us reduce our oil consumption okay another tip uh well use vegetable broth to saute your vegetables or whatever it is that you want to saute okay and also remember that the vegetable broth when you use it to saute it adds more flavor than the oil will ever give you okay so vegetable broth use them to saute another tip will be for you to saute with water there's a trick to this but once you get it uh you'll find it really easy to use saute with water it is safer and is better for the reversal of your type 2 diabetes so get rid of the old fats and don't add new fats into uh, the liver cells and the muscle cells that way we become more insulin sensitive especially if we combine this with what we're going to be doing in week four uh, we just turbocharge our insulin sensitivity going forward this is all you need to do there is no magic to reversing insulin resistance this is all you need to do so um hopefully you got some value from this very video uh, if you did please give the video a thumbs up Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. And if you've got any questions at all, go ahead and leave your questions or comments down below. By the way, don't forget to go to askdrjoe.org uh, because that is where you can ask any number of questions that you have. Um, don't forget, next week uh, is going to be week three. So see you in a week's time for our next task to reversing type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, insulin resistance. Until then, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.